friends once again welcome back to advanced mathematics 2 session right so i think in the last 5 sessions we have discussed various items and in the last 2 sessions i think we have discussed about various examples on dot product right what do you mean by dot product and i think we have discussed about cross product right if they give two vectors how do we calculate a dot b or if they give two vectors how do we calculate a cross b right so we have defined and we have solved various examples on dot and cross product right and in the similar way i think we have discussed about a right handed rectangular system as a clear it means what do you mean by right handed rectangular system is it clear it means you can consider x o x dash line y o y dash line z o z dash line right you will get three lines then we have defined various points in a right handed rectangular system this is is it clear right and we have also discussed about a right handed system of vectors is it clear right and after that i think we have discussed vector product or a cross product a right handed rule is it clear right and properties of cross product and the geometrical interpretation of cross product and we have discussed about vector product means components if they give a three components how do we calculate vector product right and after that we have discussed about scalar triple product is it clear right if they give a two vectors how do we calculate a dot b and a cross b right in the similar way you suppose if they give three vectors namely a b c how do we calculate scalar triple product as well as vector triple product and after that i think we have discussed limits continuity of vector functions of a single real variable is it clear right so friends we know that if they give functions right how do we calculate a limit of f of x as x tending to a or we know the meaning of a limit of f of x as x tending to a right in the similar way suppose if they give vector function is it clear and we have defined a limit of a vector function as x tending to a and similarly we know that uh, continuity right if they give f of x how do we say that the function is continuous is it clear at a particular point is it clear right so it means a limiting value is equal to actual value in that case function is continuous in case of ordinary functions is it clear and in the similar way we have defined uh, if they give a vector function when we said that it is a continuous function is it clear and after that i think we have derived or we have defined a derivative of a vector function right for a single variable is it clear suppose if we give f of x we know that how do we find out derivative of the given function is it clear and we have defined in case of ordinary function is it clear and in the last session we have defined suppose if they give vector function how do we define a derivative of the vector function is it clear right friends in the similar way uh, once we are able to calculate uh, derivative of the vector function is it clear right so it means if they give uh, three components right then you can write down uh, along with i j k first component i plus second component into j plus third component to k is it clear you can differentiate first component right second component third component along with i j k is it clear right in the similar way you can find out higher order derivatives higher order derivative means so d square f of 1 dt square suppose f is the given vector function how do we calculate d square f of 1 dt square is it clear it is as good as ordinary function how we are going to calculate ordinary derivative is it clear in the similar way we have to differentiate df by dt once again with respect to t i hope we'll get a second derivative is it clear right suppose uh, we have already calculated d square f of 1 dt square so now i want to calculate third derivative is it clear how do we calculate third derivative it is very simple d by dt of d square f of 1 dt square is it clear so like that you can calculate higher order derivatives right or in general you can calculate nth derivative of the given function is it clear 
right. So, you have to calculate d raised to n minus 1 f divided by d to the power d t to the power n minus 1. It means first you have to calculate n minus 1 derivative, n minus 1 derivative can be calculated one more time. I hope you will get the nth derivative. Is it clear? Friends, I hope now you are able to uh, differentiate the factor function, right. Suppose u of t and v of t be differentiable functions of t over some interval, is it clear? Here t lies between a and b, a and b be some constants, right, with c an arbitrary constant factor and c an arbitrary constant scalar. Right. Then rules for differentiation of a factor function of a single real variable over the interval a and b r. Is it clear? So, here c is an arbitrary constant as we have mentioned. Is it clear? So, now I want to differentiate a constant. Right. So, d c by d t and we know that derivative of a constant is 0. Is it clear? Right. And similarly, sometimes it may be of this type c into u. Right. So, u may be a function means factor function c is arbitrary constant is it clear we can keep arbitrary constant as it is and you can differentiate u with respect to t is it clear so like that you can find out derivative of u into c or c into u sometimes they may give more than one term is it clear here u may be a function of means factor function v is also a factor function. Suppose you want to calculate u plus v means you want to calculate a derivative of u plus v or u minus v. How do you calculate a derivative of u plus or minus v? It is very simple. You can differentiate term by term. Is it clear? So, here you can calculate a derivative of u with respect to t plus or minus. Suppose if it is plus you write plus, if it is minus you write minus. Then you can differentiate second factor function namely v and you can write down dv by dt. Is it clear? In the similar way, if it is u dot v, how do we calculate u dot v? Right? So, you can calculate derivative of u with respect to t dot v as it is plus u dot dv by dt or if it is u cross v, in that case, how do we calculate derivative? u with respect to t cross v plus you can keep u as it is cross second function d v by d t is it clear. So, like that you can find out derivative of u plus r minus v or u dot v or u cross v. Suppose, so u of t is a differentiable function of t at t is equal to t of s. It means t may be a function of s. In that case, how do we find out the derivative? It is very simple. You can use the chain rule, right? d u by d s is equal to means derivative of u with respect to s is equal to d u by d t into d t by d s is it clear. So, using this formula or using all these formula I hope now you are uh, differentiate the given functions means given factor functions is it clear. So, you can uh, verify one example it is given that r is equal to t plus 1 into i plus t square plus t plus 1 into z plus t cube plus t square plus t plus 1 into k find dr by dt. It means they have given a vector function. What is the name of the vector function r? Now, I want to differentiate r with respect to t. It means I want to find out derivative of a vector function. Is it clear? And similarly, I want to find out second derivative of the vector function. Is it clear? Right? So, we will come to know how do we find out dr by dt and d square by dt from this example. Right? Friends, we know that i, j, k are constant vectors. Right? And just now I have given if we differentiate a constant vector, we will get equal to 0. Right? So, if I differentiate i with respect to t, I will get 0. If I differentiate j, with respect to t again I will get equal to 0. Similarly, if I differentiate k with respect to t I will get equal to 0. So, that is why I have written here d i by d t is equal to d j by d t is equal to d k by d t is equal to 0. Right? So, similarly you can find out derivative of r with respect to t. It means that d by d t of you can write on the first component. What is the first component? t plus 1 into i plus d by dt of a second component t square plus t plus 1 into z plus d by dt of a third 
third component is it clear it means now you want to differentiate term by term is it clear right so that is equal to you can differentiate t with respect to t is 1 derivative of 1 is 0 right i is a constant you can keep as it is 1 into i is i right plus i want to differentiate a first term in the second component what is the first term t square friends we know that derivative of t square is 2t you can use the formula derivative of x raised to n is it clear n into x raised to n minus 1 using that formula if you differentiate t square i hope you will get a 2t again derivative of t with respect to t is 1 and the derivative of 1 is 0 is it clear that is why here you will get 2t plus 1 into z right plus 3t square how do you get 3t square you can differentiate the third component is it clear in the third component first term is t cube is it clear derivative of t cube is 3t square right and the derivative of t square is 2t derivative of t is 1 right k is constant you can keep as it is that is why you will get 3t square plus 2t plus 1 into k right so once again you want to differentiate all these terms I hope you will get a second derivative or you will get a d square r upon dt square that is why I have written d by dt of dr by dt as a clear right here what is the first term first term is i i is a constant vector and we know that if you differentiate i you will get equal to 0 that is why I have not written uh, 0 as a clear plus second term is 2t plus 1 right if I differentiate 2t I will get 2 derivative of 1 is again 0 so that is why I have written 2 into z right so now I want to differentiate 3t square 3 into derivative of t square is 2t 3 into 2 is 6t as a clear right plus the derivative of 2t is 2 plus derivative of 1 is 0 as a clear so that is why you will get 2z plus 6t plus 2 into k as a clear right so if you mind you can differentiate the same function once again I hope you will get a third derivative how do you calculate third derivative you can write on d cube r upon d to the d t to the power cube that is equal to d by dt of d square r upon dt square it means you have to differentiate these two terms once again I hope you will get a third derivative friends I hope now you are able to differentiate the given factor function so without any difficulty is it clear right so suppose sometimes they may ask along with the derivatives they may ask you to calculate modulus of dr by dt is it clear or modulus of higher order derivatives right so from this example we will learn how do we calculate modulus of derivatives is it clear right so here it is given that r is equal to sin t into i plus cos t into z plus t into k and it is a factor function is it clear right and they have asked us to calculate dr by dt d square r upon dt square modulus of dr by dt modulus of a second derivative as clear I hope without any difficulty you can find out first two as clear you can differentiate term by term right so before that as I have explained in the last example i j k are constant factors and if I differentiate d i by d t I will get equal to 0 similarly d j by d t is also equal to 0 d k by d t is equal to 0 right so now I want to find out the derivative of the given factor function how do you denote it by dr by dt that is equal to d by dt of first component sin t into i plus d by dt of second component namely cos t into z plus d by dt of third component namely t into k right so that is equal to friends we know that derivative of sin t is cos t as it i as it is derivative of cos t is minus sin t into z plus derivative of t is 1 into k right so similarly you can find out d square r upon dt square as usual d by dt of dr by dt i have to differentiate these two terms so once again derivative of cos t is minus sin t into i derivative of sin t is cos t into z right so we have calculated dr by dt d square r upon dt square so now i want to calculate modulus of dr by dt modulus of second derivative right how do we calculate 
we have already calculated the modulus of the given vector. Is it clear? Right. So square root of coefficients of i j k whole square. Is it clear? Right. So according to the previous example, what is the value of dr by dt? Coefficient of i is cos t and coefficient of j is minus sin t and coefficient of k is 1. It means modulus of dr by dt is equal to square root of cos square t minus times of sin square t plus 1 square. Is it clear? Right. So what I have written here? cos t whole square plus minus sin t whole square plus 1 square and friends we know that cos square t plus sin square t is equal to 1 and this can be replaced by 1, 1 square means 1 so that is why after simplification I hope you will get square root of 2, is it clear right and similarly you want to calculate uh, modulus of second derivative right here we have calculated modulus of sorry and the second derivative what is the second derivative minus sin t minus cos t j. So, coefficient of i is minus sin t as clear coefficient of j is cos t right. I hope uh, you will get modulus of second derivative is equal to square root of minus times of sin t whole square minus times of cos t whole square as clear right. So, it means you will get cos square t plus sin square t and from the trigonometric uh, trig basic trigonometry we will we know that uh, sin square t plus cos square t is equal to 1 square root of 1 is equal to 1 is it clear right. So, friends uh, from this example so now we are able to calculate uh, modulus of uh, all derivatives all derivatives means first derivative second derivative third derivative is it clear right. Suppose if they ask you to calculate the modulus of third derivative you have to differentiate the factor function first uh, three times. Uh, then you can calculate square root of uh, square, means coefficient of i square, j square and k square is it clear. Sometimes uh, an example may be uh, like this a particle moves along the curve x is equal to 1 minus t cube y minus sorry y is equal to 1 plus t square and z is equal to 2 t minus 5 determine its velocity and acceleration is it clear. Right. So, when we observe this example, right, so we will come to know that uh, this example is slightly different from previous examples, right. So, because in the previous examples, uh, they have given a factor function, is it clear? First component into i, second component to j, third component into k, right. So, here they have not given in that form, in that form means uh, here they have given x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to. And in the previous examples, they have asked us to calculate dr by dt or d square r upon dt square or what they have asked in the previous example modulus of dr by dt, modulus of d square r upon dt square, is it clear, right. So, in this example, they have asked velocity and acceleration, is it clear. So, that is why when we observe this example, it looks like a separate example or different example, is it clear. But uh, it is uh, not a different example when we calculated uh, derivatives in the previous example. No? In the similar way, here also you want to calculate uh, a derivative of the given function, right. Instead of a vector function, uh, what they have given? They have given the components x component, y component, z component, right. So, now you want to rewrite uh, all the components, all the three components. How do you rewrite? You want to write r is equal to x into i plus y into z plus z into k. x means what? x value, y means y value, z means z value. It means you can write on the position vector r is equal to x i y z plus z k. Then you have to calculate velocity. So, velocity means what? You want to differentiate the given function with respect to t. It means I have to calculate dr by dt, is it clear, right. In the similar way, if I want to calculate acceleration means what? Acceleration means you want to calculate second derivative of the given function namely d square r upon dt square, right. I hope uh, this example uh, looks uh, similar to previous example. You observe the solution, what I have written here, right. r is equal to x value means 1 minus t cube into i plus 1 plus t square into z this is the value of y and z value is 2t minus 5 into k as a clear velocity you can write down v that is equal to dr by dt. So, derivative of 1 is 0 
derivative of t cube is a 3 t square again by using the formula x raised to n is it clear plus so derivative of 1 in the second component is 0 derivative of t square is 2 t right and the derivative of 2 t is 2 5 is 0 is it clear i j k are constants you can write down as it is right so that is why you will get minus times of 3 t square i plus 2 t j plus 2 k is equal to velocity or v right and similarly you can calculate acceleration right and it is denoted by small a that is equal to a d square r upon a d t square right and you have to differentiate one more time so minus times of 3 t square is minus 6 t i right plus derivative of 2 t is 2 into j derivative of 2 k is constant I hope you will get equal to 0 friends like that I hope now you are able to calculate velocity and acceleration from the given example is it clear right so now you are able to calculate first derivative second derivative and modulus of first derivative modulus of second derivative and you are also calculate velocity and acceleration right or uh, sometimes a given example may be like this right a particle moves along a curve whose parametric equations are x is equal to e to the power minus t y is equal to 2 times of cos 3 t right z is equal to 2 times of sin 3 t where t is the time find the velocity and acceleration at any time t and also their magnitude at t is equal to 0 as it clear so once again you can compare this example with the previous examples as it clear right so the only one uh, part one part means uh, right find their magnitude at t is equal to 0 as it clear right so it means that uh, when we compare with the previous example we have calculated uh, magnitude as well as uh, velocity as well as uh, acceleration in the previous examples is it clear right but uh, they have uh, given in this example they have given in a different form different form means uh, instead of giving the symbols uh, they have given in a words is it clear calculate velocity calculate acceleration calculate magnitude at t is equal to 0 it means that uh, here in this example we want to calculate uh, dr by dt first you want to define r is it clear r is the function means clearly a vector function r is equal to x i right y z plus z k as it clear right they have given x component y component z component as it clear right i hope you will get this vector r is equal to e to the power minus t into i plus 2 into cos 3 t z plus 2 times of sin 3 t k i have written from the hypothesis as it clear so now i want to calculate velocity velocity means you can differentiate this function with respect to t derivative of e raised to minus t is minus times of e raised to minus t right so you know the derivative of e raised to minus at as a clear using that formula i hope you can differentiate into i as it is right derivative of 2 cos 3 t friends uh, you know the derivative of cos a t here 2 is constant keep as it is derivative of cos 3 t is minus times of 3 into sin 3 t that is why you will get 2 into 3 is 6 minus sin 3 t j as it is right plus 2 as it is because 2 is constant sin 3 t derivative of sin 3 t is 3 times of cos of 3 t that is why you will get 6 times of cos 3 t k as it is it means we have calculated velocity right and similarly you want to calculate acceleration right it means you want to differentiate this function one more time right acceleration is equal to d square r upon d t square that is equal to i want to differentiate minus times of e raised to minus t you can keep minus as it is derivative of e raised to minus t is minus e raised to minus t so minus into minus it becomes plus that is why here i have written e to the power minus t into i right 6 is constant once again i have to differentiate sin 3 t j right so derivative of sin 3 t is is 3 times of cos 3 t right 6 into 3 is 18 cos 3 t j right so derivative of similarly derivative of last component you can keep 6 as it is derivative of cos 3 t is minus times of 3 into sin of 3 k 
So that is why you will get 6 into 3 is 18 along with the negative sign sin 3 t k right. So friends in the previous examples we have calculated these two things is it clear right. So it means we have calculated velocity and acceleration right. So now you want to calculate their magnitude at t is equal to 0. So magnitude means what right in the previous examples we have calculated modulus modulus of dt by sorry dr by dt and modulus of a d square r upon a dt square here also want to calculate the same thing is it clear right the magnitude of velocity and acceleration r so v is equal to so you can write on square root of coefficient of i square coefficient of j square coefficient of k square so what is the coefficient of i coefficient of i is minus times of e to the power minus t it is whole square is it clear and coefficient of j is minus times of 6 into sin 3 t k is 6 cos 3 t it is whole square is it clear so what I have written here right I hope you will get this is it clear and uh, in these two uh, terms 36 is common you can take out 36 and uh, you will get sin square 3 t plus cos square 3 t is it clear so you know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 is it clear so that is why this becomes a 1 that is why what we will get a square root of e to the power minus 2 t plus 36 into 1 is a 36 is it clear and similarly uh, magnitude of acceleration is it clear right now as usual square root of coefficient of i square coefficient of j square coefficient of k square is it clear in these two terms 324 is common you can take out again it becomes sin square 3 t plus cos square 3 t is it clear so that is equal to e to the power minus 2 t as it is and again it becomes 1 324 into 1 is 324 is it clear it means we have calculated magnitude of velocity and acceleration but what they have asked us to calculate they have asked us to calculate their magnitude at t is equal to 0 it means after calculating magnitude we have to replace t by 0 is it clear right so you know the magnitudes of velocity and acceleration replace t by 0 in these two results is it clear e to the power minus 2 into 0 e to the power 0 e to the power 0 is what e to the power 0 is 1 it means square root of 1 plus 36 square root of 1 plus 36 that is equal to square root of 37 as clear and here also I want to replace t by 0 again e to the power 0 e to the power 0 is 1 1 plus 324 right so that is equal to 325 as clear right so these two are the required result in this example right so friends uh, now we are able to calculate derivatives of the factor function as a clear right and you are also uh, able to calculate magnitude for various values sometimes they may give t is equal to 0 sometimes they may give uh, t is equal to any value as a clear right directly you can replace the uh, value of t and you can find out the required result as a clear and uh, sometimes uh, they may ask uh, examples uh, in the following type find the radial and uh, transverse velocity of a particle moving in a plane curve as a clear so here they have not given the factor function we want to write down the factor function as a clear right so how we will write down we will come to know let r be a position factor of a moving particle you can take p r comma theta at any time t therefore r is equal to you can write down cos theta into i plus sin theta into z and theta is equal to minus sin theta i plus cos theta into z or the perpendicular vectors called radial and transverse unit vectors right so we want to calculate velocity and acceleration as a clear velocity means you can write on v that is equal to d v by dt r d by dt of r into cos theta i plus r into sin theta z you want to differentiate this function right so you will get d v by dt is equal to right so here you can observe r into cos theta I want to differentiate r into cos theta so you can use uh, product formula as clear say for example you can keep minus r as it is right so derivative of cos theta is because r into cos theta I want to differentiate is it clear derivative of cos theta is minus times of sin theta into 
d theta by d t is it clear plus r with respect to t you can keep cos theta as it is is it clear. So, that is why I have written here cos theta into d r by d t i as it is right plus I want to differentiate second function r into sin theta. So, once again you can go for a product rule is it clear r into cos theta d theta d t plus you can keep sin theta as it is a derivative of r with respect to theta z is it clear right or that is equal to d r by d theta d r by d theta d r by d theta is common right. So, you can take out then remaining thing can be write on cos theta i plus sin theta z is it clear from the other two terms r into d theta by d t is common is it clear from first term and from the first term in the second component is it clear right you can take out r into d theta by d t you can write on the remaining thing minus times of sin theta i is it clear right and cos theta into z right this is equal to d r by d theta what is the value of this from the hypothesis it is r that is why I can replace this by r plus r into d theta by d t what is the value of this sin sorry theta is it clear right hence the radial and transverse component of velocity r d r by d theta right r into d theta by d t is it clear. So, write that suppose if they will not give factor so you can write down factor then you can find out the required things is it clear right. A uh, similar example may be like this find the velocity and acceleration of a particle moving along a circle. I repeat once again find the velocity and acceleration you want to calculate the same thing right of a uh, particle moving along a circle is it clear particle is moving along the circle right of radius r and centered at origin show that velocity vector is perpendicular to the position vector r of the particle also show that the acceleration is always directed towards the center of the circle right finally prove that r cross v is a constant function is it clear right so first you can write down the position vector what is the position vector the position vector is denoted by r of any point on the circle of radius r right so is r is equal to r into cos omega t i plus r into sin omega t z is it clear we have to write uh, this vector right so then you can calculate very easily velocity and acceleration how we have calculated in the previous example is it clear right so here a v is equal to dr by dt it means derivative of this function with respect to t that is equal to r as it is derivative of cos omega t or cos w t is so omega into sin omega t i is it clear right plus r as it is omega into cos omega t z right you can differentiate as usual term by term and similarly you can differentiate one more time is it clear right I hope you will get second derivative right a that is equal to r into derivative of sin omega t is cos omega t into omega that is why you will get to omega square is it clear right and similarly here also you will get a, uh, omega derivative of cos is a minus sin that is why you will get a minus sin r into omega square sin omega t z right. So, you can calculate velocity as well as acceleration then you want to calculate v dot r right I have written the value of v means velocity r value is unknown right and you know that how do we calculate a dot v as it clear or v dot r you can multiply as it clear I hope you will get r into r r square omega into sin omega t cos omega t right plus r omega sin omega t cos omega t other terms becomes a, a 0 right and this is equal to a 0 therefore v and r are perpendicular is it clear and we know that a is equal to d by d t acceleration right. So, omega square is equal to this and it becomes a r the value of this is a r that is why you will get minus omega square r right. So, what it indicates minus means negative sign shows that acceleration is always directed towards the center as it is. Also modulus of a is you can take modulus of omega square r that is equal to omega square r and it is a constant as it is. It means that is the 
a required answer. It means uh, we have calculated uh, whatever they have asked in the question. Is it clear? Right? So, we have proved that uh, R cross V is a constant. Right? So, R cross V is uh, you can write down the value of R, you can write down the value of V, then you can multiply A cross B. Is it clear? A cross B means uh, I hope you will get uh, I cross Z R into R is uh, R square omega cos square omega t into i cross j and you know that i cross j is equal to k we have already discussed is it clear i cross j is k right and minus r square omega into sin square omega t j cross i j cross i can be replaced by k is it clear and this is equal to 1 cos square theta plus sin square theta and remaining part is r square omega it means the last part is uh, last uh, part of the problem is uh, R cross V is uh, a constant uh, factor, is it clear, right? Or simply you can say that uh, it is uh, a constant, uh, right? So, uh, sometimes uh, uh, we may use uh, the concept of uh, derivative in the applications, uh, right? For example, find the speed of an uh, artificial earth satellite traveling uh, at an altitude of uh, 80 miles above the earth's surface where the uh, z is equal to 31 feet uh, second square is it clear how do we calculate right so friends you can uh, find out the solution in the usual form the radius of earth is uh, you know that uh, 3960 miles so that the satellite is moving in a circular orbit of radius uh, 3960 plus 80 i hope you get 4040 miles thus r is equal to you will get feet since the acceleration is always directed towards the center just now we have calculated as clear so z is equal to you will get or w square r right so therefore position factor is r into cos omega t i plus r into sin omega t z right so therefore you can calculate velocity dr by dt you can differentiate how do you differentiate you can differentiate term by term as clear so r as it is so, derivative of cos is again minus sin omega t i right. So, our uh, derivative of sin is cos omega t into omega is it clear. I hope you can calculate uh, velocity right. Then you can calculate the magnitude of uh, v is it clear. As I have mentioned coefficient of uh, i j k right. So, here r square omega square is common sin square theta plus cos square theta form. I hope this can be replaced by 1. So, that is why you will get uh, square root of r square omega square right so therefore v is equal to right i hope omega square r into r right so g into r you know all the values so you can substitute and simplify i hope you will get 2570 feet per a second is it clear or uh, sometimes the same concept can be used to solve another application namely find the velocity of the boat relative to water is given uh, 3i plus 4j and that of water relative to earth is i minus 3j. Find the velocity of the boat relative to the earth. Here i and j represent 1 kilometer for an hour right in the east and north direction respectively. Is it clear? Here you want to define the following variables. Say for example, I want to define V uh, suffix B W. It means what? Represent the velocity of boat with respect to water. Velocity right, of boat with respect to water can be written as V B W. Is it clear? Similarly, V W E represent a velocity of water with respect to earth. Right? So, velocity of boat with respect to earth right so v b means uh, represent velocity of boat v w uh, represent the velocity of water is it clear so v e is uh, represent the velocity of earth right so now you can write down so v b w is equal to v b minus v w it is given is it clear and v uh, velocity of water with respect to earth is v w right water with respect to earth right so it is also given then we want to calculate a boat with respect to earth you can write on vb minus ve as a clear 
3i plus i right so that is 4i 3 4j minus 3j is j it means you can calculate vbe from the above two equations that's clear so therefore vbe means you can calculate the magnitude right so square root of 4 square square root of 1 square that's clear so it means square root of 16 plus 1 that is equal to 17 since the position vector r r cos theta i plus r sin theta j so therefore 4 is equal to you can equate r into cos theta 1 is equal to r sin theta therefore tan theta is equal to 1 by 4 or theta is equal to tan inverse of 1 by 4 that is the required answer as clear so in the previous examples i have used a relative velocity as clear i wanted to give some more information regarding a relative velocity a relative velocity means what right so for a relative velocity problem some fixed data point needs to be selected some fixed uh, point means uh, what right so uh, this means uh, this is often a fixed on the earth's surface in any vector equation only the start and finish points it means we have to consider initial and final points or initial and final points plays an important rule is it clear affect the result uh, resultant vector of a system is it clear? So, two different systems are shown in the following diagram, but in each of the systems the resultant factor is a b, is it clear? Right? So, this is the factor a d, right? So, a b is one factor, b d is another factor, is it clear? Then how do you write a d? a d can be written as a b, right? Plus b d, is it clear? Here uh, in this system a d is the a resultant factor right how do you write ad ad can be written as ab right plus bc plus cd is it clear in these two systems the resultant is ad right so that's why initial and final points plays an important rule is it clear thus in factor equations of this form only the first and last letters namely a and b respectively fix the magnitude and direction of the resultant factor right so this principle is used in relative velocity problems as clear now we have used uh, the same concept in the previous example or we can use uh, the same concept in the next example right say for example two cars namely p and q are traveling towards the junction of two roads as a clear right so which are at right angles to one another say car p has a velocity of 45 km per hour right due east and car q a velocity of 55 km per hour due south calculate the velocity of car p relative to the car q and the velocity of car q relative to car p is it clear right i want to show uh, the same problem with the help of diagram is it clear right so north south east west is it clear right so p is moving towards the junction is it clear towards east and similarly q is also moving towards the junction it means towards south right the direction of the cars are shown in the above diagram called a space diagram as it clear so this is the space diagram right so now you want to draw the velocity diagram as it clear how do you draw the velocity diagram so p is moving towards east and q is moving towards south and this point is the junction as it clear right so we can write down a velocity diagram in this form right so p e is one factor p q is another factor so e q is another factor is it clear right then you can explain in this form in which p e is taken as the velocity of a car p is it clear so p e is taken as a velocity of the car p e car p is it clear relative to e on the earth's surface right the velocity p relative to q is pq is it clear right the velocity 
P relative to Q is so PQ right and the Hector equation is PQ is equal to PE plus EQ right PE plus EQ right but you observe car is uh, car Q is moving it towards the south is it clear right but here we have taken EQ right hence the factor directions are shown EQ being in the opposite direction is it clear right because Q is moving towards the south right so we have considered in the opposite direction from the geometry of the factor triangle I hope you will get so PQ is equal to square root of 45 whole square plus 55 whole square. I hope you will get after simplification 71.06 kilometer per hour right and PQ is equal to you get a tan inverse of 55 by 45. It means you get 50.71 degree and you can declare that the velocity of a car P relative to Q is 71.06 kilometer per hour at 10 50.71 degree right. Similarly, you can calculate another part right the velocity of car Q relative to car P is given by the factor equation Q P is, it clear? is equal to Q E and E P right and the factor diagram is as shown in the following having E into P is opposite direction because so P is moving in this direction is it clear? right. So, from the geometry of this factor triangle again you will get modulus of QP is equal to square root of 45 square plus 55 square you will get the 71.06 kilometer per hour right and QP is equal to tan inverse of 55 by 45 50.71 degree but uh, must lie in the third quadrant that is uh, 180 degree plus uh, uh, this value 50.71 degree right after simplification I hope you will get a 230.71 degree. It means uh, the velocity of car Q relative to car P is 71.06 miles per hour at 230.71 degree is it clear right and similarly you can work out some more examples right. Uh, similar example uh, is a car is moving along a straight horizontal road at 79.2 kilometer hour and the rain is falling vertically downwards at 26.4 kilometer per hour. Find the velocity of the rain relative to the driver of the car. Is it clear? I hope answer is 83.5 kilometer per hour at 71.60 to the vertical right and similar example is uh, calculate the time needs to swim across a river. 142 meter wide when a swimmer can swim at 2 kilometer per hour in still water and the river is flowing at 1 kilometer per hour as it clear answer is 4 minutes 55 seconds. Friends I hope you can take these two examples as an assignment as it clear right. So, if you go through the previous examples I hope definitely you are able to solve these two examples right. So, friends uh, so far uh, we have discussed about uh, limits continuity of a vector functions uh, of a single uh, real variables is it clear. It means uh, if the u functions uh, function means vector functions uh, how do we calculate uh, limits and continuity of a vector functions is it clear right and uh, differentiation of vector functions is it clear and we have observed uh, rules for uh, differentiation is it clear how do we differentiate uh, a factor function is it clear right and I think I have solved various examples on uh, differentiation it means uh, if they give factor function uh, I hope you are able to calculate uh, dr by dt uh, d square r upon dt square is it clear and you are able to calculate uh, uh, modulus of uh, dr by dt modulus of second order derivative or modulus of any higher order derivatives as a clear or what we will say that magnitude as a clear right. Sometimes they may ask you to calculate velocity and acceleration of the factor function. I hope you are able to solve examples about all these things as a clear and I think I have used one or two simple applications. How do we use the concept of differentiation in applications as a clear and lastly we have discussed about a relative velocity 
as it is right and I have, intro, I have introduced a uh, relative velocity concept and I have solved one or two uh, examples using a relative velocity is it clear right. So, friends I have used uh, the following textbooks uh, to cover the entire uh, things. So, whatever so far we have uh, discussed right. So, first one is mathematics textbooks for class 12th part 2 CBSC NCERT publication and I have used uh, internet as well as advanced engineering mathematics by Allen Jaffrey elsewhere publication and I have used one more uh, very good textbook namely higher engineering mathematics by John Bird elsewhere publication as a clear right. So, the entire information is uh, collected from uh, these things. Friends, now I want to uh, continue with uh, analytical uh, geometry. Was it clear? Right. So I hope you are already familiar with uh, geometry. Was it clear? You have studied analytical uh, geometry, or uh, sometimes you call it as a, a coordinate uh, geometry. Was it clear? Right. So uh, you may, or we want to define uh, analytical uh, geometry, uh, or uh, how do we you think about how do we define analytical geometry? Uh, we need algebra as well as a geometry, is it clear? Right. So now you want to combine algebraic equations and a geometry. Then uh, you can define analytical a geometry, is it clear? So please you go through about uh, what do you mean by analytical geometry. We shall continue in the uh, next uh, session. Right. Thank you.